nobody says you've got to go out there and build a contraption. You can draw it. You can find somebody who digitally for $1,000 can bring something to life. We live in a very different age. You don't have to go out and manufacture it. And if it's a great idea, sometimes it's as simple as a paperclip. Noel Goldman, OK. Your, first of all, your, your product, which is one of my favorite products, very simply is? Strap tamers, bra strap concealers. They're a hassle-free way to keep bra straps from So chilling. basically, before you came along, people were walking around, women were walking around, some crazy guys, with basically <laughs> a thing over here, and then the strap. There was nothing to hide the strap. Yes. And so babe, show me your prototype, your idea. My very first prototype was an intricately bent paper clip. Paper clip. What does paper clip cost? Cook, what does it cost? Penny. OK, there's your penny <laughs> prototype. Because now you had a simple idea. Work. So it literally started with a paper clip. And this is mm -hmm. the evolution. Take me through mm -hmm. it. The second one was a jet clip. You find them on dressing room floors to keep clothes folded neatly. But I just um, glued a safety pin to it. And this is what I actually showed to the prototypist. OK, once again, this is, this is her prototype, a safety clip. And a little doohickey, a plastic thing on top of that. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And what that probably costs now we're up to four cents, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe three. Sarah Blakely, your first prototype was what? Cut off pantyhose. That's it. That's it. If you have the right idea, guys, and it's a good idea, you don't need the bells and whistles. And you can do that along the way. And it's that simple. You had a great idea. You had a great idea. Cook, what was your first prototype? You mixed beer? What was that question? Yeah, 25 bucks. Okay. Made in my kitchen. Sarah? My husband's briefs rolled down. Free. That's another show, once again. Okay. <laughs> Liz, you're waiting for Same thing. I had a garment in my closet that I thought could be adopted to be maternity friendly. I took it to a factory and explained it to them, and they made me one prototype. Yeah. $150. One. You got to just make one. And there are a lot of hungry young people out there, whether it's something you're going to sew, whether it's something you're going to draw, whether it's something you're going to glue together. Just, it's the old fashioned way. Just make it. Putty. We had some people on here actually built something out of clay. So you don't need the hundreds of thousands of dollars to build your prototype. Any advice, board of directors out there, for somebody right who's still having trouble getting going and saying, I, I, I can't build it. I don't know how to build it. I, I don't know how to make it happen. It's about research. I mean, as you guys are just saying, today Google is there, so I can't imagine how hard it could be. When I started, I literally found this book called The Fashion Dex. It's still around today. I swear by it for anyone that's interested in a garment idea. And they literally listed factories, and they said which factories would, would make small lots and which factories were in my area. I just went. I pounded the pavement. I visited them. I found one I was comfortable with. They made the garment. I mean, it, there's no magic to it. You, it's some hard work and some research. Speaking of magic, when we come back, if you have a piece of cardboard at home, you can start a multi-million dollar business. We're going to show you a woman who did it, teaching her kids how to fold laundry. She's making millions. Once again, if you can fold laundry, you can make millions. I love that concept. Don't go anywhere.